complete my 30 days vlog challenge and here's my takeaway. Hello, it's been a hot minute. Uh, it's I think it's been more than a month since I ended my 30 days vlog challenge and I've been back from my first ever solar's trip, which stay tuned for that vlog. Um, yeah, and I decided why not just um, um, vlog about like my key takeaways from doing the challenge as well as also reflecting on the last six months of 2023. Can you believe that today is already the 1st of July of 2023? Oh, Didi! Oh, what it is! Oh, Didi! What it is! Like, where did all the time go? So anyway, without further ado, let's begin! Point number one, I think this is the most crucial one, is um, I think it's very important for you to brainstorm um, your video ideas, even if it's just 5 minutes, just come up with as much ideas as you can because if you don't, your vlogs will be very boring. For example, mine. Like, most of my vlogs are about me talking about what I did yesterday and what I plan to do today. So sometimes the vlog is very short and not so entertaining because it was me talking most of the time. Um, I mean, I am lucky sometimes because I do have people I, uh, I hang out with for dinner or like doing the coast to coast, going to clubbing, but that's probably it. So it was... Boring. Pretty boring most of the time, so I think that's really important is to come up with the video ideas in advance so that your vlog isn't so boring. <laughs> Point number two would be um, the, your workflow. I think this is a work in progress because you know coming up with the video ideas and then scripting and then filming and then editing and publishing, it actually takes a lot of time. So, um, so I think. From point number one, you already have some video ideas. I think next is if it's best um, to come up with a script at least a day or if it's better a week in advance so that you know uh, when you're ready to shoot right, you already have the script ready uh, because compared to like on a day itself, you have to come up with the scripting and then shooting and editing and publishing. I think that's a lot of work in a day. Unless you can do it, then that's great. But I feel like if you can just separate those um, tasks in different days, you'll be less overwhelmed. So yeah, so once you got the idea, come with the script um, at least two days or even a day before. And then, so that on the day itself when you're shooting, right, you, all you have to do is just shoot, edit, and publish, and that's it. So yeah, finding the workflow that works for you. Last but not the least, it is your time management skills. I think t the best way to tackle this is really to schedule your um, calendar one week in advance so that every single day you know what you're supposed to do. Um, because I was like juggling between my studies and then 30 days vlog challenge and then sleep, work, social life. So um, there was times where like I had no choice but to sacrifice my sleep or I had to sacrifice my studies or sacrifice my um, editing, uh, coming up with uh, ideas because I was juggling between all of these, right? Um, for example, in the first week of doing this challenge, everything was actually pretty um, solid. Like I was getting in the flow of coming up with videos and then scripting, editing, filming, editing, publishing. But because of this, I sacrificed my um, studies. So I didn't, I didn't study like my first week of this challenge. And because of that, the second week of the challenge, I was like, oh no, um, I didn't even study like last week, so now I have to study this week so that I can catch up. But because of that, it really delayed my um, my 30 days challenge um, process. So it, my uploading was like um, becoming longer and longer. Like it was like every three days, it became every one week. So like um, it just went downhill because of that. So. So yeah, like I'm embarrassed. Are you not embarrassed? This is really embarrassing. But like, it's a learning process for me. So yeah, so that's my main takeaway of the 30 days vlog challenge. Um, I honestly recommend this uh, to anyone who is scared of like starting a YouTube channel because I was just like that too. Like starting a YouTube channel is what I've been wanting to do ever since last year. But obviously I came up with excuses. I procrastinated, I was like, you know, I'm scared, like what if no one wanna, what if like no one wants to watch, watch my video, what if like uh, people commented and say this is a shitty video and because of the fear and the what if and everything, I come up with excuses, procrastinated until this year, I told myself I really need to start publishing my, a video, you know, start creating a YouTube channel and 
term, what prompted me to start was, you know, my summary of 2022 and um, Thank God I did it, but obviously that obviously took time as well. I think it took me two months to like settle down, take the videos, and then editing and then publishing and my perfectionism as well. So hence the delay. Um, and because like I was so sick of myself like coming up with excuses and like scared of the what if and everything, that on my birthday I decided to do this 30 day vlog challenge. And thank God I did because I got comfortable with taking the phone and just start recording and like it, I also got comfortable with like you know uploading the um, videos and photos and editing and then, um, then publishing so I'm faster than that now so yeah overall it's I really learned a thing or two from this challenge and yeah I recommend it now let's talk about my reflection of the last six months of 2023 <laughs> um yeah I think it's really important to reflect because you want to see how's your progress like, right? Like, especially, you know, I think everyone have a long-term goals that they want to achieve. And for me, I do have three. One is to create a YouTube channel, and I did, <laughs> and I did, which is great. But um, obviously now that like uh, I started this YouTube channel and I'm uploading um, consistently, I guess, or more like I am uploading videos, yeah, now it's um, come, it comes down to com coming up with uh, quality vlogs now because I think my previous vlog is very boring and entertaining, and entertaining but the whole idea is just getting comfortable with it and yeah now it's time to focus on quality vlogs and also um, uploading consistently so that's the next step for me um, super excited for that because uh, yeah I mean it's something I enjoy so why not so Second is to become a data analysis. So this is something I also enjoy. Like um, I think I've mentioned about this before, but I discovered this interest of mine through the book that I read called Designing Your Life. It's a great book. I highly recommend to everyone uh, to read it, especially um, for those that just graduate from university and they don't know what um, career path they want to take. And that's like a book that I'll be like, here, read this, and like you'll know what you want to do in life. So, um, if you honestly, if you ask me, I don't mind being a content creator. I think it's really fun to just vlog about your life and like you know make it as entertaining and like you are the main character of your life, you know. But uh, because I need to financially support my family and content creator, it takes a while for it's it's a longer path, right? I think we all know that like it's gonna take years for you to make um, money from being a content creator and that's fine I feel like you know um, if it's easy ever to be doing it right so because of you know I need to financially support my family content creator takes a while hence the data analysis is something of a priority right now because one thank god it's something I'm interested in and two it's a well paid job so like you know um, killing two birds with one stone right so um so my degree is an accounting and entrepreneurship degree, so totally unrelated to data analysis, hence I need to study for it. So I'm taking up courses to study for it now, um, but the progress is pretty slow because one, I'm procrastination, and two, uh, two for the last uh, two months I guess, I was focused on the 30 days vlog challenge and I was traveling as well, right? So um, the progress is not, not where I want it to be, but I, that's fine, I feel like you know, progress is still a progress, but now I really need to dial it down. So, um, right now I'm still studying the courses, of course. And um, after studying the courses, I need to obviously practice, right? Because you learn by doing. So, after studying, I need to um, practice it. I also need to create a portfolio, but because that's one of the ways to present, you know, your skills, your capability. And once I create a portfolio, then I can like update my LinkedIn again. Um, you know, to announce to people that hey, you know, I want to become a data analyst. I want a data analyst job, and also start networking as well. Because honestly, networking is the way to um, get job nowadays. I feel compared to you know apply and test your luck. Um, because the job that I'm having right now, which never in my in the million years that I thought I'll have this corporate job, is through LinkedIn. And like the HR of my company like found me through LinkedIn, and that's how I got a job. So yeah, honestly, guys, um, 
do yourself a favor if you don't have LinkedIn yet, create a LinkedIn and like network network with people and that's the one of the fastest way to get a job. So yeah, so um, hopefully I get a data in this job by next year. So the last six months is really for me to study, um, get good with those skills, necessary skills, create a portfolio, yeah, and network. So yeah, that's the goal. And the last but not the least um, goal that I have which is to work towards financial independence. Um, I think the idea of where your passive income is enough to support you where you don't have to work is like... Wow, beautiful. Oh, what a wonderful idea like for, for such a thing to exist. And I think it's great to work towards it because once you, are, you have financial independence, then you can focus on your dreams, your dream job, and also travel around the world because um, you don't need to work anymore since you're financially independent. So I think that's something I also want to work towards too because honestly, 9 to 5 job, 9 to 6 job actually, 9 to 6 job for the rest of your life and then going for a vacation once or twice every year, that's a, that's a sounds, it sounds dull. And I think there is um, more to life than just doing you know that. But obviously, you know, some people are happy with that lifestyle and that's fine. I just feel like if I have a choice, I'd rather be freelancing because, you know, you work a few hours and you get that much money and you do whatever the frick you want with, your, the, with the rest of the hours. So, yeah, that's the last goal that I have. Um, so far, my progress in this is I'm still working on my emergency funds and I just started investing in... Um, Robo advisors, so um, a very slow progress, but but at least there's some progress. I think in the future it will be you know I'm um, investing aggressively at, in stocks as well, and also maybe real estate because I heard the return on investment of that is pretty good. I'm proud of myself to be able to financially support um, my my trips, my travels. Um, not obviously not everyone is able to travel, so I'm very blessed that I'm able to do so, and. Yeah, I'm obviously going to save money for my traveling as well because I feel like um, traveling is such a eye-opening experience, I feel. You get to see like, you know, how different countries, the norm is, like how they live and um, it also reminds you, I guess, to be grateful for what you have because of, you know, you seeing how other people live reminds you, wow. That's like so different from how I live and like, you know, I'm really grateful for what I have. So I feel like if you have a chance you should travel and like explore the culture, learn the culture, it's just so refreshing and like So yeah, so that's the um, my reflection of the three long term goals that I have to myself. Um, so far so good I guess the progress. Um, I'm getting somewhere. Um, but I just need to kick the procrastination away, which is why I'm also I also want to do this challenge, which I found on TikTok. It's called Project Fifty. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. And like, there are seven rules to it. Let me read for you. One is to wake up before eight a.m. I think this is achievable because I my work starts at night. So like, um, obviously I'm gonna wake up before eight a.m. Besides the weekend um, exception for that, like you know, everyone deserves to sleep in during the weekend and rest. Um, so I think waking up for 8 a.m. for my weekdays only. Yeah. Two is to have a one-hour morning routine and no distraction. I think this is perfect because I feel like um, how you start your morning is how you're gonna set the mindset for the rest of the day, especially the no distraction part because I feel like. Um, there's so much information going on in social media and sometimes you know when you read negative things you absorb the negative energy so the no distraction is super important I think um, doing that one hour routine right one hour morning routine I think that's when you can you know be yourself and like you know be with your own thoughts and like you know you can journal you can meditate you can read right and I think it's very peaceful and I, I, I like that so I really need to do this because that's something that I've been wanting to do that I've been doing but I haven't been doing in such a long time because I keep losing my alarm so yeah I need to work on that <laughs> okay three 
is to exercise one hour a day. Um, okay, this one is gonna be a little difficult because come on, 9 to 6 job, my after coming job, and like going to the gym, and like I have studies as well. <laughs> um, I better do this during the weekend, and also if there's any public holiday, I think that's pretty much when you're the most free, right? During the weekend and public holiday, so I think that you know, setting one hour a day to work out during the weekend. But who knows in the future, I might like make it consistent where like, you know, you have seven days a week, right? You just work out every other day. I think that's doable as well. Maybe I'll do that. Yeah, I think I'll do that. So that's that. Four is read 10 pages every day. I think this is perfect. I have like books there that's waiting for me to read. And um, there are days I do read and there are days that I don't read because <laughs> procrastination. So yeah, that's perfect as well. And five, dedicate one hour towards a new skill or a goal. I think perfect again because I'm studying towards a data analysis. So to have one hour every day to study towards it, I think that's perfect. Um, initially, my schedule was two hours a day. But you know what, I think this is good enough. Like, you know what, at least you study one hour a day, you're good, man. So yeah, that's one. Six, follow a healthy diet. I think this one is a, like a, a slap on my face because I just got my health checkup result. Um, I think shout out to my company, they gave it us for free. And like, um, my cholesterol level, it's in a red zone. So that's something I really, really need to watch now because I, like, I kind of knew that like my health is like not the best at all because like I haven't been eating well at all from like fried food, junk food, oily food. So I think this is like a reminder that you know I need to start eating more greens, you know, drink well, and um, you know, veg proteins and um, cut down on sugary things and fatty things. So yeah. And that, last but not the least is to track your daily progress in your journal. Um, this is perfect because I bought this Notion template like um, last year. I'll link in the description down below. Thanks to Better Creating. Um, and yeah, he has like a, a tracker for your habits. So that's where I can track as well. I just need to edit some to um, adjust to the project 50. And yeah, that's the um, seven rules for the project 50. Um, yeah, I also want to do this challenge as well because um, as mentioned, I, I fell off my like routines of doing my habits. Um, especially ever since I came back from my trip, I haven't been doing my habits at all. So this is like a... Uh, Come on, getting back on track, especially now that you know we're halfway through 2023. I think it's like a you know a click, like hey, you know this is what you're supposed to do. You know, reset your life. <laughs> so yeah, and yeah, that's the end of this video. I hope you learned a thing or two from like the 30 days vlog challenge or doing the project 50 with me. And um, yeah, stay tuned to more vlogs, entertaining vlogs for me, um, especially for my Bali vlog, watching me in Bali vlogs. I also did record a cleaning routine, more like a cleaning, um, clean, my, clean the room with me because that's what I did for the last three days because my room is nasty. And like, you know, I decided to do it as well because one, I had free time and two, just nice, you know, halfway through 2023, I think it's time for me to organize my room and um, all that's left now is a, maintaining a cleaning routine because I feel like somewhere um, along the lines by James Clear is that um, it's, there's kind of no point if you clean your room and then you don't have a habit of like cleaning your room because um, you clean again, it'll become messy again because you don't have the habit, that routine and I, that really like, wow, opened my mind and like now it's just time for me to find like to implement a cleaning routine in my life so yeah, that's also one of the to-do lists i need to do and yeah so like that's the um two videos that i have in mind right now and yeah to more entertaining vlogs in my channel and um a progress towards my goals and yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next vlog bye